Hey what's up, Mirai here and welcome to the World of Warcraft basic troubleshooting video. This video was created to help troubleshoot the most common and most basic issues that new multiboxers may encounter while using IS Boxer. This video is broken up into different sections for ease of access and YouTube annotations are required in order for these direct links to work. Otherwise, you'll just have to navigate to the times listed by clicking in the video timeline yourself. If after watching the video you are still experiencing any issues, then I suggest you visit the Iceboxer forum or the live chat. When creating a new character set, Iceboxer will copy your existing config.wtf file. This file contains your video settings, as well as other miscellaneous settings, and Iceboxer copies this file so that it can store useful information per character. This is what's referred to as a virtual file. Now, if while playing solo you happen to use higher video settings, those settings will get copied from your original config.wtf file over to your new characters. And when you first start up your team, you may experience a large drop in performance depending on how much load your computer hardware can handle. As always, it's recommended to turn down your video settings while multiboxing to relieve any extra stress on your system. I'll also mention that because IS Boxer is able to virtualize any file or folder that you'd like, there is usually no reason to use multiple folders or symbolic links. For further information on getting the most performance out of your hardware while multiboxing, check out the How To Tweak Your Frame Rate section of the IS Boxer wiki. IS Boxer's repeater, also commonly referred to as just broadcasting, is meant as a tool for convenience and is not a necessity. It's to be used when you need more than one client to perform a simple task at the same time with the mouse or keyboard or both. For example, if your passwords were the same across all of your accounts, then you can turn on repeater and log into all of them simultaneously. Another example would be if you were speaking to an NPC and accepting a quest or choosing a quest reward. Repeater also has its use in combat when casting spells that use the green targeting reticle, but that is controlled through a mapped key and not by turning on repeater manually. Multiboxers who had previously used another software solution prior to IS Boxer may confuse their old software's broadcasting method with IS Boxer's repeater. These two are not the same and should not be treated as such. It should also be mentioned that if the mouse cursors are not lining up correctly in your game windows, this is most likely due to them running at different resolutions. Typically, the easiest fix is to choose the same resolution in each game window or enable instant swapping in your window layout which will try to synchronize each game's resolution. If when you first log into the game world you are presented with a pop-up stating that Iceboxer expected a different character, then that means you've either logged into an incorrect character on that account, or one of your accounts has been logged into the wrong slot. I mentioned during the Quick Setup Wizard video that users will want to log into their accounts as they're displayed within their character set. The slots in your character set are essentially the regions in your window layout, and the IS Boxer has a default key combination assigned to each slot so that you can more easily figure out which window you'd like to switch to and use. As an example, when you're on the login screen, you could start out by pressing Ctrl Alt 1 to confirm that you are on slot 1 and then proceed to enter that account's information. Next, you would press Ctrl Alt 2 to swap to slot 2 and then proceed to enter that account's login information. Repeat this until all of your accounts are on the character selection screen and then verify that you're using the correct characters in the correct slots. If when you initiate the follow command on your team using Alt F and nothing happens in one or all of your game windows, or one or more of your character's bags open up, then it's likely that you either have a conflicting key binding assigned in game or that the IS Boxer add on is not enabled. First, confirm that the IS Boxer add on is enabled by logging out the affected characters to the character selection screen and then re verifying the add on status. The IS Boxer add on controls the underlying follow functions for your characters and is required to be enabled. If the add on is enabled, the next step would be to reset your key bindings to their default state. To do so, open up the game menu in all of the affected windows, select key bindings, choose reset to default, and then confirm this change by clicking OK. 
If resetting your key bindings fixes the issue, you'll want to avoid using modifier keys paired up with F11 as an in-game key binding. However, if you know beforehand that you are using modifier keys paired up with F11, then you can just unbind those specific keys rather than resetting all of your key bindings. If when you use an ability on your action bar and one or more of your characters do not assist your main, there could be a handful of possibilities. First, verify that the problem actually lies with the in-game assist function. By targeting something on your main character and pressing alt backspace to see if the rest of your team is picking up the same target. If they are, then assist is working as intended and your issue lies elsewhere. If not, continue on for a list of possible solutions. First, ensure that the eyes boxer add-on is enabled by logging out the affected characters to the character selection screen and then re-verifying the add-on status. The eyes boxer add-on controls the underlying assist functions for your team and is required to be enabled. Second, if you've created new mapped keys using the mapped key wizard and they're not assisting properly, that would most likely indicate that those mapped keys were not created with the added auto assist option. Delete the affected mapped keys and recreate them in the mapped key wizard using the assist and broadcast option from the drop down menu. Third, if you are clicking your action bar as opposed to pressing the hotkey on your keyboard, this will cause your team to not assist your main character. With the default setup, clicking spells on your action bar does not send the assist command to your other team members. For players who do prefer to click their action bars, you will need to familiarize yourself with repeater regions and or click bars in the ISBoxer wiki. Fourth, if you recently set a keybinding in-game and those keys no longer assist correctly or assist does not work at all and the problem was not solved by one of the previous entries, then the next possible solution would be to reset your key bindings to their default state. To do so, open up the game menu in all of the affected windows, select key bindings, choose reset to default, and then confirm this change by clicking OK. This issue is usually avoided by disabling your key maps when assigning key bindings in game. However, if you have a large amount of custom key bindings that you would like to keep, then you'll need to determine which slots are affected by targeting something with your main character and pressing Alt Backspace. In this example, you can see that slot 2 is not correctly assisting my main character in slot 1. Looking at the default list of slot modifier keys, I know that when I'm playing from slot 1, left shift is being pressed by my other game clients. Now, World of Warcraft key bindings don't differentiate between left and right modifier keys, and in this case, it's translated to just shift within the key bindings menu. So I'll disable my key maps, swap to slot 2, open up that character's list of key bindings, find an open available spot, and assign shift backspace to it. A message appears near the bottom of the frame indicating that something else was previously bound to shift backspace, and that's where my assist was conflicting. To finish this process, I'll unbind shift backspace from what I just bound it to to clear the conflicting key bindings altogether, and then I'll confirm those changes by clicking OK. Swapping back to slot 1, a final test shows that slot 2 is now correctly assisting my main character. Now, this was just an example while playing for my character in slot 1. If I had swapped over to my character in slot 4, and one of the other windows was not assisting them, then I would need to go through the same process as before, but instead of checking for shift backspace, I would be checking for alt backspace. This on-screen list only shows the slot modifiers for a 5-man team, but if you are running more than 5 characters, then you can find a specific slot's modifiers listed within that particular slot of the character set.